Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to uh, let you know that um, if you are testing features in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, that you may have noticed that Microsoft um, did remove a couple of flags that were readily available in Edge Canary. And recently um, they've restored a whole lot of flags that they previously removed. And at this stage though, um, it could be a bug um, and maybe is something that would they, they could remove the flags at a later stage again. But nonetheless, at this stage, um, a whole lot of new flags have been made available. Now, I will leave a list of all the flags in the description if you would like to go try the different flags out that have been restored as there's just too many to go through in this video. But I would say the two uh, main flags um, which have been restored are uh, to enable site-wide muting and then also the flag that allows the control and H keyboard shortcut to open the history page instead of the history flyout page. So um, if we just head to the uh, address bar and enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now I've already enabled uh, the, uh, the two relevant flags as mentioned. And the first is sound content setting enable site-wide muting in content settings and tab strip context menu. So if you click um, on any tab, you'll see a mute site. And if you click that, that site is muted and then you can unmute site. And then the second one worth mentioning is enable history accelerator to open the full page, enables the history keyboard shortcut to open the full page instead of the hub um, without this flag enabled and also in the stable version. If you use control and H, it opens the history flyout menu but with this flag enabled if i go now control and h you'll see it actually opens up the history page so i just wanted to let you know um as you, as mentioned if you are testing features uh, in edge canary um that a whole lot of new flags have become available which at this stage are available but it's it's not known if microsoft will remove them again in the future so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one